Ever thought about mastering the game of roulette? Wondered what it takes to predict where that little ball will land? Welcome to a thrilling journey that will take us through the ins and outs of one of the most iconic and intriguing games of chance, roulette. Originating from 18th century France, the game of roulette has captured the imaginations of players worldwide, becoming a symbol of glamour, mystery, and chance in casinos around the globe. It's a game that combines strategy and luck, where every spin of the wheel could turn the tides of fortune. But is it possible to master this game of chance? Can we crack the code and predict the seemingly unpredictable? That's what we're here to explore. By understanding the intricacies of the game, we can begin to navigate the roulette wheel with confidence and skill. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of roulette and uncover the secrets to mastering this game. Before you become a master, you need to grasp the basics. Roulette, a game of chance and strategy, is steeped in history and complexity. At its core, the game revolves around a spinning wheel and a small ball. The aim? To predict where the ball will land once the wheel comes to a halt. Simple enough, right? Well, let's delve a little deeper. Let's start with the roulette table layout. Typically, you'll find a large layout divided into two sections, the inside and the outside. The inside is a grid of numbers corresponding to the numbered pockets on the wheel, where you can place bets on individual numbers or groups of numbers. The outside, on the other hand, offers broader betting options on larger sets of numbers or colors. Speaking of colors, you'll notice the wheel is divided into 37 or 38 numbered pockets, depending on whether you're playing European or American roulette. These pockets are colored red and black alternately, with a single or double in American roulette green pocket for zero. Now let's talk about the types of bets you can place. Inside bets are placed on specific numbers or combinations of numbers within the grid. These bets have higher payouts but also higher risk. Outside bets, meanwhile, are placed on larger sets of numbers or colors. They offer lower payouts but the chances of winning are also significantly higher. Straight bets, for instance, are placed on a single number and offer the highest payout. Split bets are placed on two adjacent numbers, and so on. On the outside, you can bet on whether the ball will land on a red or black pocket, an odd or even number, or within certain ranges of numbers. Remember, each type of bet carries its own risk and reward. Understanding these basics is the first step towards developing a winning strategy. Now that we've got the basics down, let's move on to the strategies. Have you heard of the Martingale strategy? This clever approach has been used by roulette players for ages, and it's about time we break it down for you. At its core, the Martingale strategy is quite simple. It's a progressive betting system that involves doubling your bet after every loss. So, let's say you start with a $1 bet and you lose, your next bet would be $2. If you lose that as well, your next bet would be $4, and so on. The idea here is that, eventually, a win will recover all of your previous losses plus a small profit equal to your original bet. Now, the appeal of the Martingale strategy lies in its seeming simplicity and the potential for quick recovery. It's a system that's easy to understand and apply, making it a favorite among both beginners and seasoned players. Plus, the thrill of chasing a win can make the game of roulette even more exciting. But, as with all strategies, the Martingale has its drawbacks. The most significant of which is the potential for rapid depletion of your bankroll. Since you're doubling your bet after every loss, a bad streak can have you placing hefty bets pretty quickly. This strategy requires a substantial bankroll and nerves of steel, as the stakes get higher with each spin. Remember that roulette, at its heart, is a game of chance. The Martingale strategy does not change the house edge or the odds of winning. It's a betting system, not a magic formula. So while it can be a fun and adventurous way to play, it's crucial to exercise caution and play responsibly. The Martingale strategy is simple but powerful. However, it's not the only tool in a roulette player's arsenal. Stay tuned as we explore other strategies that can help you master the art of roulette. This game, much like life, requires a blend of strategy, patience, and a dash of daring. So, let's keep spinning and see what our next strategy has to offer. Let's shift gears and talk about the D'Alembert strategy. Named after its French mathematician creator, the D'Alembert strategy is a progressive betting system that's applied to even money bets. It's based on the premise that over time, all numbers will come up equally, making it a popular choice among roulette enthusiasts seeking a balanced play style. Here's how it works. Start with a base bet. This could be any amount you're comfortable with but let's say one chip for the sake of simplicity. If you win a spin, you stick with your base bet for the next round. But if you lose, 
you add one chip to your next bet. The logic here is that after a loss, you're more likely to win the next round, thus recuperating your loss. But what happens when you win after a string of losses, you ask? Well, you simply decrease your bet by one chip. This way, you're taking advantage of the winning streak while minimizing potential losses. Now, let's talk benefits. The D'Alembert strategy is considered safer than some other strategies because it doesn't require you to double your bet after a loss. This means you're less likely to hit the table limit or exhaust your bankroll. However, like anything in life, it's not without its pitfalls. The main drawback of the D'Alembert strategy is that it assumes each spin of the roulette wheel is not independent of the others. But in reality, each spin is a completely independent event. This means that just because you've lost several times in a row, it doesn't necessarily mean you're due for a win. Furthermore, while the D'Alembert can help you recuperate losses over time, it doesn't promise big wins, it's more of a slow and steady wins the race kind of strategy. The D'Alembert strategy offers a different approach to the game. But remember, no strategy is foolproof. So while it can certainly add a layer of strategy and excitement to your roulette experience, it's important to play responsibly and never bet more than you can afford to lose. So what's the secret to mastering roulette, you may ask? Well, it's not as elusive as it might seem. It's a blend of understanding, strategy, and resource management. Let's unpack that, shall we? First, let's talk about understanding and more specifically, understanding probability. Roulette is a game of chance and each spin of the wheel is an independent event. This means that the outcome of the previous spin has no bearing on the next one. So even if the ball landed on red five times in a row, it doesn't mean it's more likely to land on black next time. Understanding this fundamental principle of probability is crucial to mastering roulette. Next, we have strategy. Now while strategy alone won't ensure that you'll win every time, it certainly can increase your chances. Whether you choose to use the Martingale, the D'Alembert, or any other betting system, the key is to remain consistent. Stick to your chosen strategy, adjust it as needed, and don't let emotions get the better of you. Lastly, let's talk about managing your bankroll. It's easy to get caught up in the thrill of the game and keep pushing your luck, but knowing when to stop is a skill in itself. Set a limit for yourself, and once you've reached it, it's time to walk away. Remember, the goal is not to win every single game, but to walk away with more than you started. But there's one more thing to bear in mind. Roulette, like any other game, should be fun. If you're not enjoying it, then it's probably time to take a break. Don't let the pursuit of mastery turn into an obsession. Enjoy the process, learn from your mistakes, and always strive to improve. Mastering roulette is a combination of understanding the game, applying strategy, and managing your resources wisely. It's not just about the numbers on the wheel. It's about understanding the odds, making smart decisions, and knowing when to walk away. With these keys in hand, you're well on your way to becoming a master of the roulette wheel. So, are you ready to take on the roulette wheel? We've journeyed through the exciting world of roulette, taking you from the raw basics to the finer points of strategy. We started with the fundamentals, understanding the layout of the wheel and the table, and getting familiar with the different types of bets you can place. From there, we dove into the Martingale strategy, a classic approach that's all about doubling your bet after a loss. Then we explored the D'Alembert strategy, a more conservative approach that involves increasing or decreasing your bet by one unit depending on whether you win or lose. But remember, the key to mastering roulette isn't just about understanding strategies. It's also about patience, discipline, and knowing when to walk away. It's about balancing risk and reward and playing the game with a clear mind. Remember. Roulette is a game of chance, but with the right knowledge and strategy, you can increase your odds. Good luck!